Well, greetings and welcome back to another episode of 52 Puzzles. This week I'm bringing you another very cool puzzle. This one is called City Planner and I love this puzzle. It's actually 13 puzzles in one. That's what I love about it. What you have here are nine pieces that are all different. These are considered um, to be the, the buildings as part of the city planner idea. And so you have these nine pieces and then this base here, this frame, this is considered the city block. And then you have this piece, which is considered the water tower. So if you notice in the city block, there are peg holes and there happen to be 13 peg holes. And the idea here is place the water tower in one of the 13 peg holes. And then the object is to build the city around it by fitting all of these pieces into the frame. I'm going to tell you, this is not an easy puzzle. This is a level four puzzle all the way. Very, very challenging to solve this one way. But if you do solve it, you dump the pieces, move the tower to a different location, and now it's a whole new puzzle. So that's what's cool about this city planner puzzle. I really enjoy this puzzle. This is one that could entertain for a lifetime. So. I'm not going to show you all 13 solutions today, but I will show you one of the solutions. So we'll go ahead. Uh, again, if you, if you don't want to see the solution, uh, then I encourage you to turn the video off now. But if you do want to see the solution, here it comes. <laughs> all right. So the solution to uh, one of the solutions to the city planner puzzle. So again, I'm going to place the water tower in this location here. And we'll take a quick look at these pieces. Uh, they're all different, like I said. So what you're concerned about really is the base of each of these pieces. That's what's going to uh, make contact with the base of this city block. So in other words, this particular piece, if it were to go here, it doesn't matter really if it goes like that. Well, I guess it does in that case. <laughs> if it's, uh, let's say if it's a one um, block wide piece, it doesn't really matter if it goes like that or if it goes like that. The base is still occupying the same amount of um, area in this, in this frame. So what will change is what your skyline looks like. And it's pretty cool. I like the way each of these pieces is different, uh, cut to look like, you know, the skyline of, uh, of a city. So anyhow, this is how this particular solution goes with the water tower in this position. If I remember this correctly. <laughs> uh, so the first piece is going to be this piece right here, you see it's kind of uh, um, three cubes in this direction, three that direction, two there. So uh, it is going to lay just like this in the corner and that little notch there is going to hug that water tower. So that's the first piece. And then I recall the second piece is the small piece here, this little guy. So that one will go here like that. And then the next piece is, let me see, it was, if I remember right, this piece right here. So again, sometimes it's easier to look at the, the bottom at least for a purpose of uh, demonstrating this solution. Um, I'm filming from above, so you don't necessarily get an appreciation of what these pieces look like unless I turn them sideways. So this piece goes like this. There you have. And then the next piece is this single piece here. 
so it's only one block wide and again like I was saying earlier it doesn't matter if this piece is at the top or if this piece is at the bottom it makes no difference it's just a matter of aesthetics after the puzzle is solved so I'm gonna put it so that this piece uh, goes there then uh, the next piece is this piece right here again looking at the bottom so you've got three uh, cubes this direction one additional here and that piece is going to this corner is going to hug uh, the water tower in this direction so now you see we've surrounded the water tower which is cool sometimes when you're trying to solve this puzzle it's easy to get eight of the pieces in and then you're stuck that ninth piece doesn't work or I've also tried to solve this by removing the water tower, trying to put all nine pieces in first, and then hoping that there's a, one of the peg holes is exposed that I can then drop the water tower in. Uh, that actually hasn't happened yet for me. <laughs> um, okay, so the next piece, if I recall, is this kind of zigzag piece, this one right here. I like to call that a zigzag. So it goes like this. Like you see there. And then, so I've got three pieces left. I'm going to start with this piece here. So again, four across the base, one additional there. That's going to lay just like this. And then these two last uh, larger spaces are going to receive these two larger pieces. You see both of these pieces are pretty significant. Um, so the first one is going to be this, uh, this piece here. So three, three, and that one, it's gonna lay, that one is gonna fit right in that little notch there. And then this last piece here is going to go with, um, let's see, I believe it was like this. I'm not, there we go. And there you have it. So one of the 13 solved iterations, that is really cool looking. When this is solved, it's really uh, it's really a beautiful puzzle. Uh, hopefully, you're you can see that. I'm trying to tip it so you get an idea without uh, dumping the pieces out. <laughs> so that looks real uh, real cool on you know just sitting on the uh, on the table. So the city planner. That's a fun one. I thank you for joining me today. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. I've got a Tucker Jones tavern puzzle coming up in the next episode. So I love those tavern puzzles. The name of the channel is 52 Puzzles. Please subscribe and uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Until next time, enjoy your puzzling. <laughs>